welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just been posting videos because I've been bored. I did this look just playing around, just practicing. I do have to take down one of my other videos because of the music that I put in the video. Still new to YouTube, so there's still things I'm still learning. So I am getting there. I do apologize for that. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I was bored so I wanted to make a video. And I'm really sorry if anything on my face looks really weird, because, like I said, I was just practicing, still have no idea what I'm doing. Um, make sure you hit the thumbs up if you liked it, um, make sure you subscribe, that way anything else that I do post will be the first to know about it. And just keep watching. Enough of me running my mouth. Um, let's just get into the video. And you can see how this was created. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, guys. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Thanks for watching. So my face is already primed with the NYC Smooth Skin Protecting Primer, or Perfecting Primer, sorry, um, in the shade 684. Um, now I'm just going in with my Sassy and Chic BB Cream. Just going to blend that all in with my fingers. Got to get all that hair out of the way. Still trying to figure out my best foundation, one that matches me better. I'm still experimenting, so I think my face is probably going to look a little weird. Now I just got to wait for all that to dry. I do do a little bit of dancing in this video. I got to go get my drink. Dr. Pepper, I am so addicted to that stuff. I know it's bad for me, but I can't help it. I love it. It just tastes. Mm. Look at my face. Mm. So good. <laughs> okay. Making sure that's dry. Now I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer. That's in the shade 125 Fair. I'm going to put all that under my eyes and the crease of my nose. I'm running low. i got to squeeze it out. Stick all that under my eyes <clears throat> and the crease of my nose. I definitely get right in there. Blend, smear it all out with my with my finger. Definitely gonna have to get some more of that stuff. All right, and I'm gonna put some more on top of my nose, lip, chin. And some up there in between the eyebrows. And now I'm going to take um, this beauty blender brush thing. Um, not I don't remember where I got it. I think I got it at Walgreens. But, oh, see, there it is. Um, yeah, it's made by um, Jackie and Lauren. Beauty moment, I think. Yeah, I love it. Now I'm going to take my Rimmel London Match Perfection, or sorry, the Stay Matte Long Concealer, Long Lasting Pressed Powder. Oh my goodness, why can't I talk? And it fell apart, so yes, it is in the cup, and I'm just going to go in with a regular foundation brush. Um, my brushes don't actually have any names, they're pretty generic. Um, there's only one or two in here that actually do have names, um, which that was the little beauty blender brush thing that I had, and it's going to be a brush that I use for my foundation. 
going back in with that Rimmel London Concealer, which I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Put it on my eyes since it's going there now. Yeah, I kind of got a little bit too much. But I'm going to just blend it all out. Sorry, I ended up putting this little purple mirror in the way quite a few times in this video, and I do apologize. I'm waiting for better equipment to film. I'm getting a tripod and all kinds of stuff. Uh, once again, a nameless blending brush. And now I'm going to take this Alme Intense Eye Color. It's the 401 Trio for Browns. Um, I'm going to take that, I don't even know what to call it. It looks like a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> but I'm going to take the light shade that was up top and um, use that as my transition color. Put it all over, everywhere. I think that's what I'm supposed to do anyway. And now I'm going to take this Beauty Treats Ultimate Complexion Palette. I'm going to use these two brown colors here. And I'm going to mix them. And just put it into my crease. Do my crease and a little bit of the outer corner of my eye. And keep watching TV. Like I'm trying to watch TV and put it actually put it on my eye at the same time. Yeah, put it all in the crease. Goodness, this is fast forwarding. This is a lot of blending. That palette I got from my mom, um, it's pretty old. I don't even think that palette's still available. And I'm going to take the one under. I'm going to put that a little more on the outer crease. A little bit up in the, I mean, the top crease, sorry. <laughs> In the outer corner, and now I'm gonna take some of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray and just spray my brush and go back in with that same color. Try to get that pigment to stick a little more. You can see the TV in the back of the mirror, that's funny. I'm actually house sitting for somebody. Actually, I should say pet sitting. There's a probably about six or seven cats, one dog. Then there's about fifteen to seventeen outside cats that I feed. But hey, I don't mind. All about making sure the animals are taken care of. I think she is away up in Cape Cod. I don't think you'll be able to see him, but my son is behind me back there on the couch asleep. Lord knows if he was awake right now, he'd be all up in my face. All up in the camera. And I'm just going to take some of that lighter color that I used for my transition and just blend out that hard line. Everybody knows who I gotta blend. Blend, blend, blend. I think I got that darker color a little a little higher up there than what I planned. And I always seem to do that. I always end up getting my my darker color higher up than what I want. But I don't know, if I keep doing it I'll get better. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I um I actually got all these eyeshadows that I'm about to show you um from this app. Oh, see right there they are. Look at all them. Um, and they're really tiny, but I got them from the app Wish. Um, so I don't know the shades. Um, I don't know anything like that. And they are pressed powder. And this one right here is kind of like a bronze slash copper mix color. Um, they're all loose powder. Um, this is my first time actually using it. I wasn't a big fan, so I ended up turning them into pressed powder. Look at that. I really like that color. Like it's really pretty. See, I like it. <laughs> and I'm going to go in and just put that on the outer corner of my, or actually, look, I'm putting it all over the lid. Then that's one reason why I didn't like the um, the loose powder. I did get a lot of fallout, which I ended up wiping away a couple times. And now I'm going to take this bubblegum looking color. I think that's what I'm going to call it. It's so bright. It's, and they're so tiny. Then I'm just taking a small definer brush. It's pretty flat. My apologies for not showing this brush. Sorry, my one of the cats like started getting into my stuff. There's one cat here that just will not leave you alone. Like he wants to be a part of whatever it is you're doing. I'm surprised that he wasn't all over the counter while I was trying to do this. I'm going to take that pink and as you can see put it in the inner corner of my eye. I'm not doing so good with this audio. I need to get myself together. Come on, let's do this. All right, now I'm going to go in with this Harbor Gray looking color. Sorry, I apologize about the mirror. It'll go away in a second, I promise. There we go. And I am putting that in the center of my lid. I was trying to, I guess, what would be like a highlight for the eyelid. And I don't think I executed that too well, but I'm doing my best. I'm trying to work with this. I think I just dipped it back into that uh, bronze looking color. Tried to blend that in some more. And I did spray my brush again with uh, some setting spray to try to get that to stick a little more. Plus, I didn't want to waste half of my product trying to put it on since it's loose powder. Go back in with that pink, bubblegum, whatever you want to call it. Now, see, I'm wiping away all that fallout. Like, I know you can see the dust come off the side. Now, I'm going to go in with this white color. It's like a shimmery white. And I'm going to take this little teeny brush. So yeah, that has no name. And go figure. Now I start putting the brushes in this film. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. Sorry that it is so low. I am like working with a laptop and my cell phone and propping my phone up on things. I promise it'll be better. And now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Paris True Match Powder in the shade Warm. 
And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. brush here. That is probably one of my only name brand brushes is my e.l.f. And I'm going to just apply my foundation. Gotta blend. Can't forget the neck. Gotta blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going to work on getting some better lighting as well. And uh, I'm going to take this flat brush that has no name. And I'm going to go back into that Ultimate Complexion palette. And use those two co that one color again. And put that on my contour line, I guess is what it's called. Yeah, I don't even know if these are the right colors for me. Like, I don't... I'm still trying to get down the techniques and concepts of shades and tones and how to apply them and where. Now I'm going to take this Rimmel London Rebel Chic, or Rebel Chic, I'm sorry, Rebel Chic blush that's in the middle. I'm like completely failing at that right now. <laughs> and I'm going to use that as my blush, put on my little smile there. Try to blend that into, I don't know why I went up on my nose like that. I'm going to try and blend that in. Try and make it blend into my contour down there. And I'm going to go <clears throat> back with that gray color. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I was just touching up my inner corner. <laughs> and you see I'm going back and doing that highlight some more. I'm just trying to fix all this up. I keep looking at it and I'm not liking the way it looks. <laughs> like looking at it at this like looking at myself as I'm like talking about it or audio recording it or narrating whatever you want to call it like my eyes look completely different like they don't look the same and I feel like I completely failed at this look but hey it's a learning experience oh well wiping off some more of that stuff and now I'm going to go with my LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner, of course, in the color black. I'm going to do a wing liner. Or at least try, anyway. Still practicing with that as well. And I already know that when I... <laughs> my eyeliner does not look great at all. <laughs> When I watched this for the first time and editing it and everything, I looking at my eyes like, oh my God, I can't believe I looked myself in this little mirror, like close up in my face and I didn't even see this. Like I've seen so many things that I could have done better. Like looking at the side view of my face just now, that was horrible. Like my face looks like crap. <laughs> I need some help. Anybody with tips, suggestions? I have been getting some tips from my sister. I guess I think I need more of a 
a hands-on lesson. Like, I've been watching Jaclyn Hill. I've been watching Valerie Peck. I've been watching all kinds of people on YouTube. And I have learned a lot, but at the same time, I feel like I need somebody to sit me down in front of me, hands-on, and either do it for me and talk me through it or have me do it and then talk me through it. Like, actually, I'd like to do both. I would like to have somebody do my makeup and then me try to do it myself. I feel like that's the only way I can get it down, Pat, for sure. And now the CoverGirl Lash, Bla Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And oh my goodness, let me tell you, it took me about two days to get all that completely off. I don't know if it's because I put too much on or what, but it does not really come off with the makeup remover. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, but at the same time, when I want to get my makeup off my face, I would like that to come off with the rest of it. I would wipe my eyes for the next two days and I'd have like black stuff all over my finger. And I have wipes. I have the liquid makeup remover. And this, do not judge me guys, but this is an old mascara brush. And it is, like, the same color as my hair. <laughs> so, and it is a little dried up. So, I just kind of used that to kind of darken up my eyebrows a little bit. And then I take this Maybelline Expert Eyes. It's the Stone Age palette. And I'm going to go in with that brown and do my eyebrows a little more. <clears throat> And again, that's another thing that I'm still practicing with. Um, I know I'm not that good at doing my eyebrows. Hell, you can look and see I'm not that good at doing my makeup. I don't think I'm horrible, but I think that there is still a lot that I can improve in. That's okay, I'll get there. Have faith in me. And now to the lipstick. Don't really wear it, but this is the Rimmel London Drop of Sherry 034. And I apologize that you cannot see me making my weird fish faces while I'm putting on lipstick. And I'm also trying to make my lips look bigger because <laughs> I don't have a top lip and I don't know what to do about it. I definitely don't want to be one of those girls that are sucking my lips into a jar to make them poofy. I forgot who did that, but I know this chick ain't doing it. <laughs> I need to come up with another solution. So I'm using that, and then I'm going to go over it with a CoverGirl um, lipsticks called French Toast. <laughs> and the number for that is 715. I'm going to go over that um, drop of sherry with that to try to mix the color. And this is actually what the counter looked like after I was done doing everything. Like, my makeup is just everywhere. But uh, thanks for watching.